Well, all right. Why is God hidden? Because the God of the Bible doesn't exist. Why does it appear that God is invisible? Because he doesn't exist. Why, why is he hidden from us? Because he doesn't exist. That's a question that believers have been grappling with for millennia. It's I'm sorry you've been grappling with that. Do you need a grappling hook? It's also a question that um, um, among atheists, I think, is probably considered the number one, for, for many atheists, it would seem, it is considered the number one argument against the existence of God. Yeah, pretty much, with good reason. Because they say that, look, an all-powerful being, a being who is responsible for creating all things, who rules over all things, uh, he would not remain invisible to us. He would, he would reveal himself unmistakably. Especially if he looks upon it and, 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 and you think, well, if I were God, you know, and, and I created this world of people and I looked and I saw this world and I saw especially that people were falling away and falling away from belief and there was so much suffering and misery and pain and so forth. Well, then I would, I would appear. I would make myself clear. I would say, hey, everybody, listen up. Look, here, here I am. Here's God. Here's what I want you to do. Here's how, how I want you to live. I wouldn't pass down these truths in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a book, in an ancient book. I wouldn't trust human, hu other humans to you know, impart the knowledge. I would just appear, and I would make it clear. Yeah, probably. Um, I think that's kind of the atheist argument. That's definitely one atheist argument, although I'm not really an atheist. I think the universe itself is a giant living thing, and we're part of that giant living thing. Just like how when you look at a microscope, you know, you look at, you cut us open and look under a microscope, you find a lot of living things inside of us. It's, I look at our relationship with God as the same thing. We're part of a giant living thing. It's not really aware of us. That's my viewpoint of a God. You have this view that he's some sky daddy looking down and watching people and judging what they do and telling people how they should live. And that's just, you know, um, it clashes with science, and then it makes you live for your death instead of living for your life. It gives you, honestly, nothing to live for. It gives you everything to die for. And that's kind of a weird belief to me. I think even, even non-atheists, even believers, have had moments of, of wondering this. I think we all probably have. We've all, we've all grappled with this question. I know I've had, I, I'll admit that I've had moments in prayer sometimes. Oh no, such weakness. You, you questioned. You're, you're so weak for questioning. It's where I say to God, I say, God, if you would just reveal yourself to me. I mean, can you just reveal yourself? Can you come out of the shadows just for one second and just, Show me your glory in all of its fullness, just for one second. That's all I'm asking for, just one second. Just one second. If I had just one second, just, just a blink of an eye, if I had a one-second vision of heaven, of the supernatural realm, of the world that lies beyond this one, if I had just that one second, that would be enough to sustain me for the rest of my life. Psilocybin cyanocins do a really good job. I could live for a hundred years, for a thousand years, on just that one second. It's a Hallmark card moment. But the vision never comes. It's never come to me. It's never come to most of us. And I think for most of us, it never will come, at least not in this life. Seriously, you really ought to try some shrooms sometime. Why? Well, I think that uh, there are... Th I'm going to offer three answers to that to that question. And these are not, I'm not claiming that these are the three answers. I'm just saying that these are three answers. They may not even be the best answers. But as I've thought about this, this problem, um, this is what I've concluded. Why is God hidden? First answer, um, and the most obvious answer, is that he isn't hidden. At least not in the way and not to the extent that atheists would claim. God has revealed himself to mankind countless times through the ages. And as a Christian, I would say, of course, that, um, that the greatest and most definitive revelation 
came in the person of Jesus Christ. So basically your reason is because the Bible says so. Because the history that is in the Bible must be true because it's the Bible, and the story about Jesus must be true because it's in the Bible. So, yeah, you're saying that God is real because the Bible says it's real. Jesus was born, he ministered on earth, he performed miracles, he was crucified, he was resurrected, and then he ascended. Because the Bible says so, and you have to believe it because the Bible says so. And he was not hidden during that time. And these events themselves were not hidden. And since then, and before that, God has revealed himself in other ways to other people. And there again have been countless stories of visions and supernatural events. And, and we should believe people who say they've had these visions because... Miraculous, unexplainable healings and so forth. Unexplainable feelings. And so forth. Um... So all of these things, and, and you can choose to disbelieve these signs. These aren't signs. These are people saying something that they believe or some vision they had. And this is using the Bible to prove that the Bible is correct. And you can choose to disbelieve in God, and you can choose to disbelieve in Jesus Christ and, and, uh, and, and all of that. But, but if you do, you must admit that you are not disbelieving a hidden God. Whether hidden or not, I don't believe in an anthropomorphic God who watches and judges everything that we do. I find the notion preposterous. Because that is not the God that we believe in. We believe in a God who has revealed himself repeatedly to the human race. Only if you believe in the stories of the Bible and the accounts of people who, for all intents and purposes, kind of lost their mind. So we do not believe in an entirely hidden God. Oh, why does God hide himself? Oh, well, he doesn't really. If you believe in the books in the Bible, you'd know that he's not hidden. It's, it just doesn't work, man. Or, oh, if you listen to people who have had visions, you'd know he's not hidden. Now, I'm sorry that doesn't work. Oh, unexplained feelings. You'd know he's not hidden. Give me a break, man. Sorry.